Hello and welcome. Welcome back to a new episode of the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. A double upload for you on this fine Sunday evening. I hope you guys are well. Today's episode, once again, powered by my awesome sponsor, Elgato. Guys, to create my content every day, I need a few different devices. I need good lights to brighten up the green screen. I need a good quality microphone and Elgato provides all of that great stuff for me. You can check down below in the description to a link to my Elgato profile page. See all of the stuff that I use to create my content on a daily basis. Sometimes twice daily, like today and yesterday. All sorts of videos going up on the channel this, this last couple of days. So I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, do me a huge favor and smash the thumbs up button. I'm talking 6,000 likes. I'd love to see that by midnight. Smash that support. Thank you in advance for that. And of course, sub to the channel if you're new. Okay. Oh, a little bit out of breath. Anyway, uh, it's Sunday night, Tom. Why haven't you played any weekend league yet, mate? What's going on? Well, the whole packing messy thing kind of gave me extra episodes. And I was so excited. I was playing loads of rivals. It just gave me so much more content that... The weekend league stuff is only now, this is this is my Friday during the day weekend league gameplay, all right? I've got a super busy weekend. Obviously, by the time you're watching this, my super busy weekend is probably pretty much over. But uh, it meant that even on Friday, a lot of my foot champions needed to be played. So today's video and tomorrow's video where we get our games played uh, will probably be from the Friday sessions, knowing that I'm pretty much out all day on Saturday and Sunday. So I need to get most of my games done uh, and just play a couple in and amongst when I actually get a chance. Uh, but that's how it is sometimes. As a content creator, I need to just sort of prioritize what needs to get done and then sometimes get ahead on the on the schedule if, if that's what it requires. Um, so, my first game of Foot Champs, I went 1-0 up, and I was like, this is going to be so easy. I'm loving my team, it's all good, and then I find myself 3-1 down, and he even knows the lasty corner technique. Oh, dear. Um, so, I'm 3-1 down at halftime, undeservedly, according to the stats at halftime, but hey, it is what it is. Maybe this guy was just a lot more clinical than me, um, and... We do get the ball here with Lorente, knock it in towards Messi. Messi's going to end up just dribbling inside. And the red time shot sells the goalkeeper and goes in off the bar. <laughs> I'm like, okay, uh, how has that happened? Uh, and obviously, towards the end of the game, I had to throw the kitchen sink at him. It left me exposed at the back. I didn't manage to score a third goal. He did manage to score a fourth goal. So I'm coming away Norton 1 in the weekend league this weekend. I think we did last weekend as well. Um, it's, it is what it is. Knowing that eight wins is like our, our a real goal for us uh, and 12 wins is like a pipe dream, uh, I'm fine to lose a game. The first game of the day, I'll, I'll just put it down to being a little bit rusty uh, and hopefully warm up as these games go on. Because I'm, I'm not sat there playing a Rivals game just before I go into champs to really warm up. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Get stuck in. I'm all good. I thought Titi was going to run through my free kick there and mess it up, but uh, Messi misses anyway. Gets blocked on the line, but uh, yeah, Mendy is there to, to to hit it home, and I go 1-0 up from that, and then just some nice... I mean, yeah, that, that was a dodgy shot, but a nice control from Benzema, and this guy had already queued the pause, and then he made a wonder save, but he quit anyway. I guess I was just applying a ton of pressure, and he didn't want to carry on. That's fine. You know, I appreciate it. I 27 minute match instead of a 90 minute match. That will do me just fine. Yeah, I I already had six shots in the first few minutes. So uh it was clearly going my way. Um so there we are. Our first win of the weekend league, a little rage quit, and we are now one and one. Excellent. Let's go into the next one and win it, shall we? That'll be lovely. Um and he had Fafana, he had the new yeah, player of the month, Fafana, a nice team with some some good players in there. Uh, Fekir is able to win the ball back luckily here, and then I just bang it in at the near post. The reason I shot like that is because I'd already had a shot in the first minute, and he moved his goalkeeper. So I was like, I reckon he's going to be a goalkeeper mover. So I shot at the near post, and funnily enough, he'd already moved his keeper towards the far post. So I big-brained it for a second there. Um... I then get equalised on because I'm absolutely terrible at defending. Uh, but Lorente pushes forward into Fekir, into Messi. Great ball back to the Frenchman, by the way. And we could just whip this one in. Karim the Dream, lovely header. Absolutely clinical finish from him. Uh, and we're pushing on here. I want to try and extend this lead. Messi into Benzema. Benzema, back of the net. Weird shot, weird save. 
very odd goal to to score, I have to say. But yeah, it's looking it's looking like we're we're in 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 good spirits here. Things are going our way. Fakir knocks it towards the edge of the box. Back stick. Benzema's there. That's a classic. I honestly do take so many of those corners, and it, they work out like once every five times or something. Uh, it's it's not as easy and simple as it looks. Uh, you have to just get everything just sort of has to flow and work in motion. Uh, you can't do it consistently every single time. But a second rage quit. So we're now two and one. I've, I've played less than 90 minutes of FIFA for those, those past two wins, so that's good. And we go into... Yet uh, another game. Or do we do an SBC or something? I can't remember. I think we do. Yeah, we just go straight into another one. I had a tiny little break and then came back to it. So I'm two and one. This guy has Fekir and, uh, you know, generally a, a nice team. I think my team does outdo him, though. Just the fact that we've got that, that man from Argentina whose name I shan't mention because we've already mentioned it tons in the last couple of days. But I go one nil down. His, his Kareem the Dream. He had a much shinier Mercedes Benzema than me. Oh dear. Uh yeah, he, he scored the goal, but mine mine was uh mine was being pretty quiet in this game, I have to say. And in the second half, Kamavinga knocks it up to Pogba. Pogba controls it. Kimpembe misses it. It ends up going through to Benz and that's just such a lovely finish. Um, I think a bit poor goalkeeping there from Testegen, but it is what it is. Uh yeah, so this game just wasn't going my way. Whether or not I was just playing sloppy or he was better than me, either way. I'm happy to to just take the the L and uh, yeah take this one on the chin and move on because as much as I thought I was doing all right you you can't say you, someone doesn't really deserve the game when they're four nil up you know it's something's gone a little bit wrong there so I just quit the game we still get our point obviously there's no point hanging around in that one the other two opponents that I just played both quit on me as well so uh, why not just get out of this one and into the next game and hopefully it'll be a little bit better so we're two and two in the weekend league and he gets through with Ben Yedda. And I thought that was an all right tackle. I get a yellow card, but it was just inside the box, so I do give away a penalty. So not quite the worst possible situation, but nearly. You know, the only worst thing that could have happened there is that yellow could have been a red. Um, so I'm one nil down at half time, but I do not really deserve to be. I should have scored goals with the six attempts that I had in the first half. Uh, this guy put everyone behind the ball and then just hoped for a through ball counter attack. And to be fair to him, it just worked. Um, that must be a flaw in my 4 triple 2 because I I must just be susceptible to counter-attacks or something because, uh, yeah, it, it, it just worked a treat for him. This is one of the games where you look at a, a player who's winning by a lot of goals and thinking maybe you don't deserve this. Um, and I try my best. Like, I made some changes. We've gone super, super attacking, constant pressure. Uh, Taliska is on instead of Benzema. I just thought I'd change that up. And he gets a goal. Um, so, yeah, we're kind of back into this game. There's still time if we want to make this one work. Uh, Messi, lovely dribble in here, trying to get inside the box, trying to play it across to somebody. Uh, and as you can see, the ball sort of somehow falls to Taliska again. Not really sure how, but I get the goal. And we're throwing it at him. That kitchen sink has been thrown multiple times at this guy, and we got two goals back. But unfortunately, all he has to do is get through once, and it restores a two-goal lead. It's too late to get multiple goals now to get back in this match. Uh, and I was probably playing a little bit stressed at this point as well, because I just genuinely thought that I deserved to get this the victory in this one. Um, the goals that he did score, he took well, and they were probably like high-chance goals, so... Uh, I think I do I take a look at the stats after this one it ends up making it look like yeah he properly did deserve to win so we just say GG's and we move on but yeah I had 15 shots I need to do better oh no I did have a 5.2 xg to 3.8 maybe we got shafted in that one it is what it is but we move on and uh all is well. We, we're now two and three so it's definitely not the greatest start to the weekend league but this seems to be the case I think I was here last week I think I was here the week before as well. I think this is how we've gone every single time so far, is it not? So, perhaps this is just the way to go because the, the latter sta stages of my weekend league, I still managed to get up to the eight wins. So, you know, perhaps being at a lower form earlier on is actually not too bad of a, a, a thing. We go 1-0 up after 12 minutes in the next one though. 
It is that man, Messi, to score the goal. Nice dribbling and a lovely finish from him on his wand of a left foot. Benzema then knocks it through to Usman Dembele. I spot an open Nabil Fekir. Just pass it into him with that goalkeeper running out. Uh, and we can get our 2-0 goal. And then, look at this. Hakimi cuts it inside. Lorente into Messi. Oh, my goodness. To be fair, if those goals are going to go in, I feel like Messi's left foot and a green time shot are basically the only times those ones should go in. Uh, not like a Ousmane Dembele non-timed shot with 70-something shooting. A messy shot. Maybe you can agree that those finesse shots could go in once in a blue moon. Unfortunately, they still do go in a little bit more than once in a blue moon and probably still need a little bit of tweaking um, in a, you know, hopefully an upcoming like hot fix or patch or whatever. So we get our win. We do get our win, which means we are now uh, three and three, I believe. Evens, naught form. It's okay. We reached level 29 of the season, which means we are going to reach level 30. So that's good. Um, I end up taking, I think I take digital transcendence as a stadium theme. I thought it might look, make things look nice and cool and like Tron-like, considering we've got that VIP area that has like the flashing lights on it. However, I did put it on. It doesn't look as great as I thought it might, but oh well, it is what it is. I finally sold Carrasco for not as much profit as I hoped, considering he had a Hunter Chem style and a position modifier on him, but we made a little bit of profit nonetheless. Um, and we go into another game at 3-3. Three and three. I thought, oh, I'm going to try and get one or two more games, probably just with this one more game in to see if we can turn our record to positive for the end of the episode. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, I dealt with pressure for the first eight minutes of this game, went on a counter-attack and scored with Messi. I then dealt with more pressure and somehow I think I end up, do I end up scoring or does he equalise? No, I think I go 2-0 up here, right? Yeah, Fakir. Green timed, to be fair, but still an absolutely ridiculous shot to go in the back of the net. I can agree. Um, it's when you see that type of one go in that I think, yeah, maybe they do still definitely need to be patched a little bit more. I don't know. What are your thoughts on it? Should you be able to score a goal like that consistently if you green time it? Let me know down below. Uh, I then get Benzema sent off somehow. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. But yeah, I'm, I'm now down to one attacker, and that is Messi. So I'm sure he can probably do it on his own. But it was just a lot of defending against a guy that was quite... That was pressuring me a lot. Uh, and a little bit like one of the games I had earlier. In a sense, I don't think I should be winning this one. But somehow I'm 3-0 up. And it looks like I'm just counter-attacking him. So that must have been what worked for me in this situation. Um... I would say overall that this guy was a better player than me, but was just susceptible to the counter. I mean, look at that ball from Fekir and that finish from Dembele. That's nuts. That's absolutely crazy. I'm playing with 10 men and I've managed to score another two goals on top of it. Yeah. Um, the XG and stuff is going to make it look like I definitely deserve to win, but he was a, a solid player. And I think that that game could have gone a lot more differently oh no it does make it look like i shouldn't have won uh, yeah like that that is a lucky lucky game in my opinion sometimes they're going to go against you sometimes they're going to go for you just so happens that this time i've got pretty lucky so ggs but like yeah i feel a bit bad about that one it's the weekend league right anything goes so we're up to 19 points when nearly well we are just about halfway there really because i've got four wins and if eight wins is the the overall goal 12 wins being the absolute dream. Uh, we're halfway or a third of the way there, depending on how you look at it. Um, yeah, so that's going to that's gonna wrap things up, actually, for our Sunday night extravaganza here. Uh, I love having Hakimi at right back. He is brilliant. Kimpembe is rock solid. Um, prone to the odd mistake alongside him, Titi. I have to say, it might just be me, though, that makes those mistakes. And Mendy's obviously very, very good as well. That's why he has such a high price tag. Uh, 17 goals, three assists in 16 goal, in 16 games for Messi. And of course, some of those have been quits on my end and my opponent's end. Uh, but I'm loving him. Uh, he's, it's so much fun to be able to, <laughs> to use a high-rated player at this stage of the game. It really is. It, it does make a big difference, in my opinion. Um, yeah, it's, it's just generally pretty awesome, to be, to be fair. So... Uh, and, and I love Lorente. Pogba, not so much anymore. I don't know what we can do there. 
Is there another French centre mid that we should be bringing into the squad? Let me know because it can be anyone French. Yeah, let me know what who who we could get there to replace Pogba um, with the 50 or 70k coins that we've got. Let me know if there's anyone French that I could bring in. Uh, other than that, do me a huge favour. Smash the thumbs up button. 6,000 likes on this Sunday night video. Push it up to 6k likes by midnight. That would be amazing. Subscribe as well if you're new. I thank you for that. And um, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram where I'll be posting pictures of the fact that I own a first owner Messi on a road to glory. That's what, you, that's what you can expect from me on social media. Have a good day, everyone. Take it easy or have a good evening, should I say. Take it easy. Stay safe and healthy. We'll be back again tomorrow lunchtime with the regularly scheduled content. So don't miss it. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>